Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at some cute Minecraft mods as well as some cute texture packs. So be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and let's get right into the video. So this first one I have to show you is called Farmer's Delight and it adds a cooking pot, a stove, this is all the items it adds here, it adds these baskets, these storage baskets. The stove has a simple recipe as well as the cooking pot. And in the cooking pot, you would mix recipes and you can create different foods. So for example, let's go and farm some of this cabbage, which you can get, as well as tomatoes and also rice you can grow from this mod. So all these to the side are some of the recipes we can make. There is cakes, desserts, main meals, soups, like this soup right here. It tells you the ingredients you need and then you put it in the cooking pot. So what we need is some meat. So we're gonna go and kill some cows. For the purpose of this video, you can put the cat meat on a chopping board, use a knife, and you'll get minced meat. You can place this in the cooking pot with some other ingredients, such as a carrot and a potato, and then it will start to cook. And we now have a beef stew. So you can do this for so many different recipes. It's quite simple and it's a really good way to make food. It's a bit more immersive than just using crafting tables. But there is some recipes you can use on a crafting table. This next mod is called Delicate and Dainty and it adds this cute little flower crown I have on my head. And also these blocks in the background. It doesn't add much but it is so cute and these iridescent leaves that change color. It adds a macaron, you craft it with sugar, milk, egg and berries and then you can make that into a giant macaron, place it on the ground and have it as cake. The leaves are made with glass and leaves and they're so cute. It also adds these sugared bricks and love colored wool which are pretty simple to craft. But it is so cute, this pink carpet would look good in a bedroom. It's like my favorite design for carpet. So up next we have the mod Torument. Now this has not got many downloads but it is so cute! Look at these cute little snails! And this mod won't spawn because I'm peaceful so I'll get back to that. It adds these flies and also fly swatters. It adds little fairies. They're really cute. It adds shrimp which is adorable. Their eyes are just so cute. These little mini creepling creepers in a different colors. It adds this worm, which just makes me want to love worms. It also adds fairy dust and a fairy sword. You get this from killing fairies. So here I'm going to kill some fairies with the fairy sword and you get fairy dust. It is a very cool sword to add to your collection. It adds all these different mobs you can see here, such as frogs, eyeballs which I thought would be pretty spooky but they're all really cute <laughs> even the mobs that harm you I'm gonna have to change the difficulty but here is the eye like that is really cute for an eye up next we have these maggots which it adds which are still kind of cute we have a ghostly crab so it's like a ghostly one a warped worm a basalt soul, which it, I will admit is kind of spooky. And just so many more mobs and items. And also this crab was really wanting to be cooked. So there is no water near me, so I'm just going to place these on the ground. This is a sea slug, a frog, and the jellyfish, which will be in water, but they're so cute, this little sea slug. Next, we have straw golem. Now to craft this little guy who will harvest your crops and place them in a chest, you just use a hay bale and a pumpkin and he will harvest your crops. It is so cute and they'll put them in the nearest chest. Up next, we have Makar's paintings. Now, this is a new painting mod that adds a whole new bunch more paintings to the game. These are super cute and I feel like they go with vanilla very well. They are so cute pixel art. So up next we have premium wood. Now this adds a whole new bunch of wood and trees to the game and some of them are really cute. There is this one willow, this one is magic wood and you get all the variants like the bookcases, plates. This is tiger, silver bell, which is like a white silvery color and my favorite purple heart, 
which is so cute and pretty. This and the magic is my favorite. It also adds glass. Up next, we have Mini Bloom. Now this adds this little bloom to the game. You can give it a glistering melon and it will love you and sit. When they walk, they can produce a little flower, which will give you a regeneration effect. They are so cute and pretty and adorable and you definitely need this mod to your mod collection. What we have next is exotic birds. Now in the wild, you'll see these bird nests with this installed. You take them, take the eggs, and these act like a regular Minecraft egg, except you can throw them and it tells you a percentage of a chance that you'll get that bird from the egg. So if you throw an egg, there is a small chance you'll get a bird. You can put the mystery egg in an egg analyzer and it will tell you what the egg is. And if you put eggs in an incubator with blaze, it will up the chance and make it a higher possibility for you to get a bird. You can take the bird encyclopedia, right click the bird and it will unlock the bird you have discovered. There is a whole new bunch of birds you can discover. It tells you their breeding foods, it gives you all the different variants of that bird, it tells you a bit about them, it is really cute. It is a really cute mod to have a bird emporium. I'm not gonna show you all the birds in the game, but this is some of them. This is a flamingo and they come in different colors. Pink, dark pink, coral and black. And they balance on one leg, which is so cute. We also have these little magpies, I think they're called. These bluebirds. Penguins, which look so cute. And these swans, which are so elegant and pretty. Like, look how cute that is. The animations are so good. Up next, we have fins and tails. Now this adds more ambient life to your Minecraft world, ranging from small fish to strange creatures. It can spice up your gameplay and it currently adds 16 different ones. This is some of them, as you can see. They're all like fish. And this dude, which I'm not sure is supposed to be in the water or not, but it is a mud house. I don't think it is supposed to be in the water because it looks like it travels on mud. All the fish drop food items too, like they drop their fish. There's these little swamp markers, arrow fish, just loads of new fish and things you can spruce up your fish tanks. And as you can see, this is like a bunch of items that it adds. All these different types of creatures. You can capture them in buckets. You can cook some of them. There is crabs, lobsters, a crab cruncher or a crusher. So up next, we have the Batters Minecraft mod. And it adds a whole new bunch of, well, it adds plum fish, but in a whole bunch of different textures. And it is so cute. This is also a good addition to your fish tank. This little pink one and the white one and my favorites. They're so pretty for a fish. This final one is called Buddy Cards. And now this adds these little packs of cards you can get from chests. And when you open it, you'll get a random selection of different cards to collect. You can place them in a binder, kind of like Pokemon cards. That's literally what it is, pretty much, Pokemon cards, or any type of card collection game. And you can have them on display too, which is really cool. There is so many different ones you can collect, and it is a really cool mod for a collection. It is a really good collection-based mod. You can also get these medals for completing a set, and there is three different sets. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!